Um, next up is our Lowell Mutual Aid Group, or as they're better known by, LAMA. Um, and Mary is here um, along with some of her fellow volunteers to talk about what LAMA is and how you can get involved. Hello. I'm guessing you all can hear us. <laughs> Looks like we're missing one of our people. She may pop in at some point, Crystal. Um, so my name's Darcy and uh, as Sam mentioned, we're with the group LAMA. And for those of you who saw the announcement and thought we were gonna teach you how to be a LAMA the animal, sorry to say that's not the case, but you know, if you have any ideas about that, let us know. Um, so we are a, a mutual aid group in Lowell um, that is lifting Lowellians and assistance in mutual aid. Um, and we formed um, at the start of this uh, crisis um, to really try to um, bring neighbors together to help each other, right? Um, because there are lots of, um, lots of gaps in the way that um, people are, and groups are able to meet the needs of people right now, especially because this crisis is so different. Um, whoops. <laughs> I'm trying to, let me just say that this is my first time doing a Skillshare and I believe Mary, so we're learning as we go. Um, so Mary's got the uh, slideshow up there. Um, and so we'll talk more about what we're doing and who we are, but I thought maybe we could introduce ourselves um, first. Um, and, uh, oh, sure, sure. Looks, looks like Crystal is coming in. Okay. Hey, Crystal. Are you there? Can you hear? Hi. Hello. Oh, where you are? Yes, the technology uh -huh. figured out. Oh. <laughs> um, so, so we're uh, introducing ourselves now. So um, again, my name's Darcy and I live here in Lowell and Pawtucketville. I am part of uh, Lowell Education Justice Alliance and have a son in fourth grade here. Um, also work at the university, but my work here is um, just me being a person who lives in Lowell and cares about Lowell. So um, that's why I'm here. Uh, Mary, did you want to? Sure. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us today. I know it's really gorgeous outside, so I'm sure lots of folks are interested in doing something outside after, um, after the Skillshare. So my name is Mary Taurus. Um, I use she, they pronouns. I live in the Lower Highlands neighborhood and I work for Lowell Alliance as a community organizer and family advocate. Um, and when the state of emergency was uh, put in place in Massachusetts, we, uh, we found out that uh, the, some of the LAJA members were also looking into setting up a mutual aid group I work with a lot of refugees and immigrant communities here in Lowell, and we were also looking into doing that. Uh, so we combined forces and Yama or Lama was born, and um, we're really looking forward to sharing all that we've been doing with you and how to get involved. Um, my name is Crystal Roberts, and I'm a mom of a couple kiddos in Lowell. Um, I live downtown and I having had some struggles myself or having struggles being disabled um, and having some illnesses in the past understood that there are, are vulnerable people in Lowell that need help for this crisis. Um, I've been very fortunate that I built a community uh, of friends that have been there for me and that I them um, and I realize how important that is so that's part of how Lama came to be is we all realize we need each other um, so I'm also a tutor um, and educator so <laughs> I don't know okay and I'm super shy <laughs> You're great, Crystal. I think um, your internet connection is a little choppy, so just so you're aware. Um, okay. okay. All right. So shall shall I switch to the slideshow yeah. now? Okay, great. Um, and bear with me, folks. I'm gonna try to be switching between both uh, presentation we have for you as well as some of our 
social media and the tool that we use to organize online, which is called Slack. Just so folks know that that's something, if you really are looking to get more involved, uh, that's something you can join us on. Um, hold on, give me a second. Okay, here we go. Switching. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure. Oh. Okay. Well, nope, there, there, there we are. Good. <laughs> 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 so. Hopefully I can make this work. All right. You can do it. We have confidence. All right. So we we um, did our introductions there. Um, all right. So what is Yama or Lama? Um, this is lifting Lowellians assistance and mutual aid, as we mentioned. We are people who live and work in Lowell and want to build a structure that lets us uh, meet one another's needs during this crisis but also we want to build something that lasts beyond the pandemic. And we want to build a more fair and more accessible and more just Lowell for everyone. So I'd like to also share with you that there is um, a group called Vecinos um, for the Spanish speaking community members and neighbors among us. And that is integrated into the work that we're doing. So we're we're meeting together, we're staying in communication, but it's helpful to have a separate branded uh, messaging and interface that is just all in Spanish for people. So that um, that is also available. So we'll, as we explain this, um, we'll be showing some of that content also. Um, and I'd like to open up for anyone in the Facebook Live chat watching um, what is mutual aid from your perspective? How do you uh, think about that, define it? Do you have any experiences that you could speak to for that? We'd like to open this up a little bit um, to be a, a little bit interactive before we continue. So feel free to write in the chat, um, which we are able to see, what mutual aid means to you. And while you're doing that, I want to say hi to Paulina, who was on right before us doing the crochet skill share. I said, I think I know that person. And she is on the Llama uh, Facebook page. And um, she connected me to her mom who made masks um, for us to distribute. And the masks that um, Paulina's mom made went to the senior center um, for the volunteers who are delivering food, but also seniors who are making requests for um, for mask for their own personal use. So anyway, I was happy to see Paulina and happy to see you here. And that's just a little taste of the connections that we're making here. So thanks. Um, All right. So I'm not I'm not seeing um, many comments. So that's okay. We can move on and we'll share with you our definitions and grounding principles. Uh, so mutual aid organizations uh, organized to exchange goods, resources, and services from people who have them to people who need them and back again. Um, we're led by regular people, residents, uh, not corporations or nonprofits. So while we partner with lots of uh, entities in the city, we are resident driven and led. And we're, we wanna give a shout out to our disability justice organizations that are also doing community care circles for a long time. So that includes all kinds of organizations, um, as well as peer-led support and recovery um, organizations. And we like the inspiration from Ricardo Levins Morales, who, whose uh, drawings are depicted. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to talk to him about including a llama in these, I think. So yes. we should just uh, <laughs> incorporate that then. It'll be. I don't know if people can read these. Um, can accept your feelings. Yeah. Yeah. So we stay have. Stay aware. You got it. Oh, we do. Okay. Stay aware. Um, limiting exposure, and then 
rest, which I think there's different responses to what we're experiencing. Some are needing to rest more and others are responding by working harder. Um, so get in touch with one another. Wash frequently. Is that? <laughs> I know. I'm um, and then my spirit animal, the turtle. <laughs> um, so spirited calm. Um, and then offer feeling support and support those most vulnerable. And then what we're working on right now is organizing for a better future. Thanks, Crystal. And if anyone wants to put in the comments what the llama one would say, please do, happily. <laughs> uh, so just a quick note about trauma. Many of us have been or will be traumatized to varying degrees by this pandemic. It also makes pre-existing traumas worse. Um, traumas such as racism, poverty, and intimate partner violence. So those of us that have experienced trauma in the past are being triggered um, and it makes it worse for marginalized communities that are more vulnerable right now. Um, we know that trauma causes disconnection and isolation and the antidote to that is coming together and building community. We build resilience by working together. Um, now is our chance to build the kind of lull that we have always wanted to see. Um, a tight-knit community that helps each other become stronger. Yeah. And, and I'll add also from our communities that uh, either our immigrants, refugees, especially who have come through some pretty significant uh, experiences with loss of resources or family or um, place and how there is actually a lot of resilience in our communities um, and what that means in the context of mutual aid is that we can be supporting each other and learning from each other and how to uh, both get through this time and also um, how we want to create systems that work for everybody. And um, I just want to add one. Uh, I'm not sure what the next slide is actually, so it might go right into that. But um, so this isn't like, nothing, so I'm sure. Yeah. Um, so. so I think in terms of the idea about mutual aid and this kind of fits this is that we think about this, and you you may have read this in different places that we think about this as solidarity, not charity, right? So that we all have something we need and we all have something to contribute. Sometimes we have some of both, right? And that this is all us helping each other and the idea of charity is more in that there are some people who get it and some don't, you know, some people are worthy of getting the help and some are not. Um, and we pretty, we're, our philosophy and the work that we're doing right now is that if you're looking for help, you need it and we need to figure out how you can get it, right? And so, um, and that's for all of us. Um, so I just wanted to to share that that part of the philosophy that we're all in this together. And Mary, I know that you have a, a, a quote that you like to share about. Is you think you're going to read it? Sure. Yeah. I keep it up in my wall here. <laughs> um, I actually don't have the attribution um, to who said this, but it was within the context of Aboriginal um, Indigenous organizing that in Australia. Uh, but the quote is, if you have come to help me, you're wasting your time. But if you have come because your liberation is bound up in mine, well, let us work together. So we have lots of conversations and when, when we'll be sharing how you can get more involved, but this is a lot of kind of we're right now in the middle of the crisis and sometimes it's hard to look beyond that but a lot of the conversations that we're having are about this idea right and how we can 
take that center of that and look towards the world that we want to see and how do we want to do that because who we bring in and who are who's in that part of that conversation makes a difference so thanks okay um we've spoken a little bit about what our goals and are and i know we um want to get through a lot in the next 12 minutes or so, so I'm just going to move us along. Uh, but of course, as Darcy mentioned, we're trying to create something that works for everyone. Um, this isn't about charity, it's about solidarity. So it's about structures that work for everybody yeah. and respecting what people have to offer. So um, do you want to speak to investments? And um, I mean, so as was mentioned earlier, um, Lowell Education Justice Alliance has and members have been pretty involved in this group and we have been working for a while. It's another grassroots group that's parents and teachers and community members and students who are invested in our public schools. And um, we have been for the last three years fighting very hard to get better investment resources into our schools. And we have just won this really amazing grassroots led bottom up effort to get more funding. And then this crisis happened, right? And so this is somewhat devastating because we this was such a, a, a huge part of the work that we were doing and we had had this great victory and now it's all up in the air. But of course we still talk about what we wanna see, right? Even if we don't know um, what, when we're going to get that and what the resources are. I mean, I think we always talk about, we have, we know that there are resources in this country. We know that it's possible to do these things. We just don't have that, they, we don't prioritize those things, right? And so that's part of this conversation that we're having is what do we, what is the priority? And how do we shift that focus so that we do invest in our schools and invest in housing, invest in the things that are going to, that people need and that our planets need and that is not completely focused on corporations and business and profit right and so um this having this happen has been devastating but it also really is forcing us to think about who was winning and who was losing and what can we do differently so that we are not don't do this again right That's right so. very good thank you yeah okay so how does this work right so people uh many many mutual aid groups are functioning this way where people in addition to the facebook pages and in other settings people can make requests um, and provide offers for what other the resources are so um, we recommend that people save this link and share it with anybody who needs to um, to make a request or has something to offer All right, so I I would like to switch and show just a couple of these pages, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you can do it. You can do it. I think I can do it. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> my personal chat messages here. Um, so we have our Facebook group. This was the first thing that, oh no, this is the page. So we have a public facing page, which you should definitely follow. It's Yama lifting Lowellian's assistance and mutual aid. Um, and this group, Vecinos, is the Spanish-speaking counterpart page, Vecinos de Lowell, Banco de Recursos y Ayuda Mutua. Um, and then we also have the uh, Yama group, Lama group. And this started really right uh, as the uh, state of emergency was put in place so it's been up for a little over a month and a half um, and there's about 1200 people in the group so far it is organized by topic so people can search here for what um, they might be looking for first we do have moderators that try to reduce the duplication of posts yeah. and the group meets saturday at 10 a.m for the network organizing call. So we just got off of that today and you can see lots of updates there. Uh, one big ask that we have right now is for people to help make and get more masks out and, and PPE for the community. I know, you guys know And one last tool that we're using, this might take a minute to load, but this is our Slack 
uh, system. So this is a workspace, a shared workspace where we have on the left-hand side, all of the um, activities that the committees and working groups that Yama is involved with and people are doing most of the organizing on the back end here on the Slack. So if you are interested in joining that or getting more involved, you can either post up in the group, message us on the page, or email us uh, at the email address, which is liftingloelliansmutualaid at gmail.com. So one of the things I love about the group the Facebook group is that it's a place where a lot of people make their own connections, right? And so someone will post, I need I need someone to buy me this, but I can't get out of the house. Can somebody do it? Or I need to do this. And then people respond, right? And so without even filling out the form that connections are being made, and that is perfect and exactly what we love to see. Um, but sometimes you need a little bit more of a direct prompt. You can fill out the form. Um, and that also what you can do, what you can offer, and maybe what you also need. So, but it's a good, it's a vibrant page, and I recommend you go there. And for those that aren't on Facebook or online um, or interested in filling out a form to make those requests or offers, there is also a phone number. So, um, I think that information is also actually, I can just, I'll just. It's right here, but so the phone number is 978-222-7877. And that also includes a Spanish number line that will direct to um, our counterparts there, as well as a Kamai um, line to go to the Cambodian Mutual Assistance Association. And we're always working on additional language access options. Someone want to take this one? Yeah. Yeah. So um, we also have a donate line or a donate form. Um, a lot of the work that we're doing um, involves feeding people. Um, there, that food insecurity is increasing right now, and that's one of the biggest um, asks that we have on the form. And so we meet we use this money to supplement some other donations and things that we get from people. So the other thing that we've also done is um, we have helped pay for people's medication um, because uh, they lost their job, all kinds of reasons, right? So those are the types of things that we would use this money for. Um, and again, the longer this goes on, the greater the demand is. So um, we really, the funds come in hand are really important to the work that is happening right now. Thank you. Okay, so uh, additional ways where people can get involved. Uh, someone wants to read these. But, um, yeah, go ahead. So we need people to make masks for our volunteers and also for others in the community that need them. Um, it's hard for people to even find them at this point if they do have the money. Um, we also need people to sign up to volunteer for s sorting food and also delivering. Um, Elizabeth's email is here if you're able to volunteer for that. We also need helpers to deliver low public schools lunches and work packets to families. Um, Darcy, who's here, her email is right here. Um, we are looking for people to get involved with our political advocacy team. And Mary's email, who's also right here, um, is listed. Um, and the more people that get involved, the better. So if you could join our Saturday morning meetings, it would be appreciated. Um, the link is on our Facebook page. We also have a support group that we're working on getting up and moving. The main piece of mutual aid is that this is solidarity, not charity, and that we're supporting each other. Um, for us to all reach our potential and for our community to reach its potential, we need to support one another. Um, so thank you, Chris. Simple things like talking on the phone um, with the group. <laughs> yeah, and we've been, um, we 
have been updating a shared public calendar with local, you can stay muted, Darcy, if you, if you want for now. Thank you. It's okay, you're fine. Uh, so we have a shared public calendar where we're trying to add all of the local virtual support groups available um, for people, which include parents, children, there are some um, new moms groups, that kind of thing. And we're also working on some drop-in support um, calls just for anybody that wants to have some space um, or support holding space for others to um, process how this is affecting them, uh, others around them, or or just stay, you know, connected during this time of so social isolation. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us. We um, we can we can have a couple last thoughts okay. that they are asking us to wrap. Up. Oh, okay. I just want to say thank you. If you see in the live comments, Paulina said if you are interested in making masks, she is happy to help connect you with her mom who can help you um, in how to make them and will happily take them because as we've said, we're getting lots of requests and the, the governor just put a, a mandate out that everyone needs them, but now, but nobody can get them. So we need to figure out how to, to connect people. But thank you, Paulina, for that. Um, but uh, thanks so much. And we have a beautiful, wonderful volunteer graphic designer, as you can see. Uh, isn't that awesome? I love that. <laughs> um, but thanks so much and really hope that you all, um, we see you out there someday in the streets, but uh, <laughs> right I'm now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and thank yeah, you keep in touch and, and best wishes to everyone's families and yeah. stay, stay safe and healthy and well. Thank you. Stay well. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.